If your ink too slow and your nib won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to see you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hi, welcome down here, my friends. I'm going to do a probably a couple of weeks or more of mail call that I haven't had a chance to get to because it's been so hectic here. One thing after another, it's been very, very, very hectic, I would say. But anyway, today I'm going to try to do all of them in one mail call. So here we go. Mr. Announcer, focus down here on the table, not on me. People don't need to see my glorious, handsome face. Are we ready? Yes. All right, now this comes from Mike Green, which I've already opened, but I haven't yet tested it because time will come soon. But anyway, of course, as you all know, as I know, Mike is a custom pin maker. And, of course, more came with it, but this is what I want to, people to see. Very important, to, at least to me. Beautiful. Look at this pen. Get as much of the detail as you can. Can you see those beautiful colors, the patterns that is so nicely done? And from the cap to the barrel, to the tip, to the top, to the cap, it unscrews. And... Uh, I will do you a review, God willing, within the next three days. This is really one remarkable fountain pen, to say the least. And I'm going to be doing, doing a Zoom with Mike Green this Friday, I believe at 7 p.m., Mr. Announcer? Perhaps. And, uh, and then later, I'm going to be talking about Mike Green's pens particularly, where I'm going to break them down. I'm going to show you each part and to show you the value that you're getting for the price that he charges, which is more than affordable, which is more than fair, because Mike loves what he does. And it's got to start here. It's not about fame, fortune, who picks you up. It's about what you present to the people, the customers, the buyers. And with that said, you even on top of everything, you're going to get the nib perfectly tuned by Mr. Announcer. Kirk Spears. Ta-da! And on top of that, you're going to get a 15% off using wow, my name, Larry, for that secret code to get 15% off. So much on this, more later, because a lot of cool things are going to be happening, and I'm excited about. I guess I am, right? Right. Okay, on we go. Now, as you well know, I'm a gift, and I want to thank also, is it Nigel? How you pronounce it? Nigel India? It's Kamal. Okay, so we've decided it's Kamal. So Kamal, thank you, thank you very much for sending me this. Now, I've already opened it up, and I've started using it because uh, I'm going to have an online pin meet this Saturday, and we're going to be just discussing planners and journals, I believe. So, let me open this up and show it to you. Uh, there are so many different planners and journals. It's unbelievable. And this is from the year 23-24. And it's really a, a nice looking hardback cover. And, uh, i just been playing around with it and kind of getting used to it. It's not like the Hobonichi, no. I think every journal in notebook has a, a personality of the, that they own, plus the, I guess the individual that will be using these journals will kind of add that into the notebook, journal, or 
planner. Okay, well that's number two. As we continue our journey, and then we're going to go into Mr. Announcer. He orders something. I guess. Eh. Here we go. All right, Mr. Announcer. Ta-da! Ta-da! Now, this is from Barry Pins. Hello, Mr. Barry. Thank you very much, John. <coughs> okay, very cool. And I will show you all these beautiful pictures and the story on Barry's pens when I do the review. And here is the pen. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time breaking everything down because I don't want to bore anybody because I will be doing a review on it. And, you know, once you hear one, you're going to hear two, three, four, twenty, whatever. So <coughs> here it is. First time to see it. My star. That's a pretty pen. Now, I've seen this uh, design before, but into a wooden pen. But look at the colors. Everything is really neat on this. I, I do like the patterns. I do like the style. Very nice clip. And that's all I'm going to show right now as we move forward. It's a nice pen, Mr. Whatever your name is, John Announcer. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Hello. So, well, oh, and here comes a, like a low, look, a converter. Did you know that? No. Okay. And will he ever use it? Who knows? But I will, like it or not. Okay, here we go. Are we done yet? Oh, no, no. Bear with me. Don't touch that dial. Stop. Good day. Said all that there because we got so much to go through. And here at the was it five below? The five below, yes. Yeah, at the five below uh, dollar store, I think it's called. Uh, picked this up for like three dollars and twenty-five cents. I have a few of these pen sets, and they really are amazing. The question is, are they worth three dollars and twenty-five cents? In my honest opinion. I think they are. So, if you're a person that can't afford fountain pens, but you still want a fountain pen, but you want a decent fountain pen, a good-looking fountain pen, and one that's not going to skip, scratch, so far, these have really been really, really great fountain pens that I enjoy using. Here we go. I guess I'll get this thing for because I lost my knives. I wonder what happened to them. You know, Jake and No, I haven't seen it for a few weeks. Uh, now, this one is something that I wished for a while back. And here we go. Okay. Mm. Hold on, hold on. Bear with me. Here we go. And here we go. Oh, this junk. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And let me give you a hint who sent it. The person who sent me Yosemite Sam. Dun, dun, dun. Tasmanian Devil. I'm sorry. The trans. The trans. Yosemite Sam. Well, we can call him that, but transmit. Okay. Heard me. Hark. Hark for that ink. And here it is. The Noodler's Ink. I know. Da da da. Be nice. 
red black and that's what I'm going to be putting in this pin when I do my review on this pin plus to show you the color of the ink as well I'm going to have two giants working side by side so that's going to be cool anything else as I break the bottle okay so let's see here all right my friends here we go last but not least I think and here we go with this now all I gotta do is here we go now this comes from Federalist pens and paper you've heard of the guy haven't you yes the one man show I believe he has over 50 brands now he really has expanded so when you go see him at the pin show whichever they may be and they're listed on Mr. Announcer uh, info I don't think you have the names who's going to be going, but you have the, the pin shows, right? Yes. Uh, I just, just finished updating them yesterday. And we've been adding and adding and whatever, and there's still more to add, but we have time to add. So, uh, he'll let you know where he'll be at. Uh, Frank's an amazing guy. First, you have to get to know the person. You know they're amazing, right? Right. So, Mr. Frank, if you're watching this, well, here it is. My time is, this came in a few days ago as well, but like I said, you can't believe, oh yeah, you can. What has been going on, it has been, how would you say it, Mr. Announcer? We have been busy. Here, Occupied. Yes, and it's not all easy and stuff. I don't think they'd believe it, would you? I don't believe it. Get through with one disaster going to another, then into another, now into another. It would make a good sci-fi original movie. Yes. So, how do you handle those kind of disasters? Scream, shout, jump up and down, holler, don't know what's going to do next, don't know how you're going to get that fix or done, or... Uh, and we're not talking simple stuff, but you just do what you got to do, I guess, and see what happens. So, anyway, uh, and you know, by no means am I asking anybody to, to help or anything. It's just something that happens part of life. No one promised any of us a rose garden, right? Nobody promised any of us that life would be easy, right? It is what it is, and you deal with it. So, here we go. The first thing Frank sent you is this bill. <laughs> Receipt. that da on. And it always comes nicely packaged. ta -da. So first, we're going to go out with this. I think this is a little pillow that Frank put his head on. Oh, and a special shout out to Marky, Didi, and the wifey. So here we go, and I'll show you all these things later. Because, in a few, because a lot of viewers have been asking, so I will talk about it. So let me set this aside, because there's hardly any room left. Here it is. And I'll open this up. Dun, 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 dun. And this one here is called the De Charles 10 Pin Leather Pin Case. Timber Gold, okay. Here it is. Very nice looking pin case. Feels great. And I will get into. Uh, all the information that we need, bit, need about this pin case. Flips up here. Falls out there. And let's see, I believe this comes out. Let's see. Ta-da-da-da. And this comes out as well. 
and I'll get into everything very, very soon. So, hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, Frank. I appreciate you. There you go. Now, I have been asked to do some Lamy stuff. So, yes, we have a lot of Lamy fans out there. I'm one of them. And so, uh, we also have some Caveco, or Caveco, however you want to say it. So, here we go. And all these, again, will be in review. Here we go. This is the ink. Let's see what this one is. Oh. Okay, this is one killer fountain pen. This is the Click fountain pen with the double broad nib and I'm going to go into the full name of it and get the reviews and tell you about these parts of the pens and uh, i tell you what, I'm a big Click fan because if you don't know much about Click pen from India then maybe it's about time you ventured out and checked them out. And I believe that uh, Frank is the only one that sells these pens. If not, he's the only one that reached out first. But so far as I know, I could be corrected that he is. And I'll tell you what, affordable? Yes. Underpriced? Probably so. I'm going to tell you my actually thoughts about them, but yes. Great fountain pen, great value, can't beat it with a the stick. Then, we're going to talk a little bit about these little jewels, and they're the Lamy Z24 slash the 28 model fountain pen converters. And inside there is the, I'm looking at this thing, yeah, the uh, extra fine nibs for the Lamy because some people want me to do a comparison on these nibs between other Lamy nibs, which I said I would, so it's going to happen, folks, finally, right? Uh, so that's going to be taking place. A lot going on, right? Last but not least. Here we go. Kangaroo couch. Hello. All right, here we go. And right here, my friends, I have three of the different size nibs that I will be reviewing and showing to the people that have asked for this. So it's coming. Uh, this is the Extra Fine Caveco. And I'm trying to read up here. The extra fine and the... Well, I better take it out of here because I can't see it on there. This is going to be the... I think one from India. Let me see here. Ah, yep. Now this is the one from India. Extra fine for the uh, pen I just showed you. That's going to be fun. And I will demonstrate the, the nibs against other nibs that I have, like from, you name it, Lamy, Pilot, whatever. And then this one, probably be a click. Let me see. And here we go. And it is. Nice looking nib. Yep. I, I like it. This is a flex click nib 
And I can't wait to see this in action because the the feedback that I hear and get and that you see on YouTube as well, it's all well known that the nibs that are called flex nibs aren't really flex nibs because they don't do what they need to do. They don't flex like they should. So why is that? I'll leave you with those off. So do you do the flex nibs like when you're doing calligraphy or when you're doing writing, printing, drawing, whatsoever? We're going to get to all that, okay? So I've got a lot in store for all you folks that have been wanting to know these answers. Not that I'm right. But I'm going to give you my take on it. And then you can think about it. And hopefully it may do you a little bit of good. Or may not. And that's it, my folks. So with that said, I'm going to leave you with that. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining me. Take care.